to the Bold Top by Joe podcast. Coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. Your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. This is exclusive content only through YouTube. I will not be uploading any of this stuff to any podcast platform. So if you want to keep up to date with all my shenanigans, like, subscribe, you know the drill. So I wanted to talk about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's one of the candidates that I was researching. He happened to be on the Joe Brogan experience. So I was like, I'm going to tune in and I'm going to hear him out to see what he has to talk about. I thought he was going to be your regular politician that just goes up there and talks about taxes and talks about this and why he did this and why he's the best. Instead, he talked about environmental issues, the things that he's been fighting for, vaccines, autism, health, children, and the well-being of our country. So that right there was good enough for me. Now, I'm not saying he's it's good enough for, for me just to vote for him just for a show, but it's good enough for me to keep researching him because I feel that he actually cares about about the country and the cares about the people in this country. And and that's something that we have to look for. And that's why in one of my episodes that I had, I, I mentioned that we have to do research on people, on candidates. The media only shares what they want us to see, but there's a lot more people out there that I feel like they just go right by us and we never give them an opportunity. We never look into them and they never win. They never get to the end. It's always the top dogs, the people that are that they have to be in power, right? The people that some people want in power because either they're crooked or they're they owe them something or they're trying to make them all rich, whatever it is, right? And, and we all know the corruption in politics. And if you have if you haven't even tuned into the Twitter files, you should because that just shows you that there's a lot of corruption, right? Especially with censoring stuff for for us uh, in this country. So that being said, I don't think that Joe Biden and Donald Trump, even if he can run again because he was arrested and he has all kinds of stuff going on, I don't think either of them are fit to run for this country anymore. And I know that Trump supporters are going to be upset. And I know that Biden supporters are going to be upset at me. But think about it. This is just going to create the same shit over and over again. We're going to be back to that vicious circle where Republicans and Democrats can't seem to get along with each other and we can't seem to get anything passed through because they're constantly fighting. We need somebody that comes in that can get these people to work together, Republicans, Democrats, whatever the heck you are, to work together, not just for their kids and their grandkids, but for everybody, for the American people, right? For the people in this country. And that's what we need. We need somebody that can get these people and be like, hey, we need to agree to disagree, but this is what we need to do what's right for the country and the people in it. And we have to come out with a plan on how are we going to work together? And that is what I am looking for as somebody that can that can take charge. Right. We need leadership. I am tired of watching debates where people are constantly fighting at each other, calling each other crooked killery and crooked Biden and this and that and the stupid laptop and the, the whoever else is suing Trump for whatever it is. And I'm tired of it. I want to hear a debate where there is information being tossed around that talks about us and what they're going to do for us. How are they going to make it better for us? Right. Look at the prices, gasoline, food, the cost of living's up, the housing's up, everything's up, right? That we're helping, you know, there's wars going on. We need a leader that's going to change that around for us, right? And I keep saying this over and over again, but we need to break that vicious circle. We need to do research and, and learn how to vote, right? Just don't vote because you have to vote or because you're like, oh, well, this one's better than this one. I'll just vote for this one. It's the better of the two. In that case, then don't vote. If you're just going to vote for whoever you think, well, this, guy, this guy's the better of the two, so I guess I'll just vote for this for, you know, whoever this other person is. And we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't vote that way. We shouldn't. Because that's the reason why we're in in this spot, right? That's that's why we're here. And I know there was people saying that, you know, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., his voice, we need a, his voice is a problem, right? That a president should be strong and have a strong voice. And you know what? 
That is complete bullshit. We don't need that. We need somebody that actually cares about this country. We don't need somebody that, you know, pretends to be a Viking or is like Trump that comes in and starts insulting everybody. Yeah, it worked at first, right? Drain the swamp and he said all the right things and get all the, the corruption out of here and all this. And look at the mess that has become of this. Constant fights. Nobody can concentrate on anything because there's all kinds of bullshit happening. They're trying to stop him from running. There, There's just... There's a lot of there's a lot of bad stuff going on that we don't know. And all we get our information is from people, from journalists or people that are trying to dig the information out, right, for the public. But this is not good. I mean, honestly, this is not good at all. Wouldn't you want to at least have, you know, somebody that cares? Somebody that at least tries, even if the shit doesn't happen, at least is trying to make it better for us, right? Not just pretending and screwing us all over. And that's what I'm looking for. And that's why it was important for me to tune into that episode, like I said, because he's one of the candidates that I'm going to be researching. And he's not the only one. I'm going to be researching a lot of other candidates, but I will not, I will no longer be uh, voting for any of these people with the big names that have been in that have been in uh, politics for a very long time. I think that I need to make a change also. I need to do my research like I've been preaching, and I need to make sure that whoever is going to get my vote is the right person, right? Because I feel that my vote matters, and I don't want to vote for somebody that's going to be a complete failure, and I'm going to feel shitty because I, I voted for this person. So I want to make sure that I, I I do my research and I make sure that I I go out there and I vote for who I think has the best interests of our country. Until next time, peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.